Okay, it's my 2001 Toyota Highlander Limited. Uh, I'm going to do a little video on the hubcaps, uh, repainting the center caps. Uh, I haven't been able to find anybody else out there who has a video like this, so I figured I'd just throw one out on YouTube. Come around here. <clears throat> you see that the center caps, the uh, paint has almost flaked off entirely. It doesn't look that bad when it's dry because it kind of blends, but when they get wet, they turn a lovely um, kind of nasty yellow color that really makes the car look bad. So I'm going to kind of show this video in steps. I'm going to take one off and show you how to take the emblem out of the center of it so that we can repaint it. Okay, so I've taken the four center caps off of my uh, Highlander now and I'll show you how to separate the emblem from the body. Um, so if you take your center cap and flip it over, you know there's three little dots in there. And that's either glue or it's like the sonic weld from where they stuck that emblem through because there's three little pegs that go through. Um, to break that off, what you can use is a pair of these little pliers that are kind of like side cutters, but they're flat on the nose instead. Uh, but you can get down in there, get around it, bite it, and pull it off. Once you've broken that glue free, you can then take a nail set and kind of use that to push the little, the little uh, rod through so you can separate the emblem out. Once you do that, you end up with your emblem separated out. So there are the three little legs that stick through. And your center cap ready for painting. So I've already washed this one in dishwashing soap, um, just the stuff like Dawn. Uh, just to get all the oil off and everything else. It, you guys, you notice it changes color a little bit when it gets wet. And this has been air drying for about an hour and a half and it's still a little wet. So I'm going to put all these out in the sun after I wash them to get them completely dry before I paint them. So I will uh, kind of give you a view after I get them all knocked apart and uh, out cooking in the sun before I uh, paint them. Okay, here's a quick shot of it where I've uh, cut the glue off. Um, when you go to cut these off, one thing I've discovered is, it's so like I say, I'm working on this front one. Come at it like this with the tool and not like this. There must be something about the um, curve inside of the in this thing. If you come at it from this direction, it'll cause you a problem trying to bite it evenly. If you come at it like this with the tool, it'll bite down onto it correctly. Okay, all in all, it took me about, oh, I don't know, five minutes to get the four emblems separated. Uh, the one, I had one that got a little tricky that I had to kind of work at, but that's where I learned the trick about uh, turning the tool the to one direction. So uh, use that info to save yourself some time. So I'm going to wash them now and put them out in the sun to, to dry out. Okay, so I've got the four center caps all washed now. And you can see there's varying levels of uh, paint flaking going on where the logo was and around the sides. So I'm gonna let these sit out here and bake in the sun a little bit. I'm gonna spread them around where there's sun on my deck rail here. And uh, I'm gonna take one of them over with me to the auto parts store and see if I can find some matching paint color. Okay guys, just got back from uh, AutoZone with um, the paint. So I picked up a container of the adhesion, adhesion promoter. And then uh, this perfect match, and it's the Universal Silver Metallic. And that sucker is pretty close to the color that is on, that's still left on here. It's kind of hard to get a comparison like this. And I've got one hand holding it. There you go, that kind of gives you an idea right there. So you can tell you got pretty close on the color. So that's the color. And then I got a uh, sanding sponge, um, this 1200 to 1500 grit. Uh, this is like the highest sponge I could get out of them. Uh, I think somewhere I read that you're supposed to use like a 3000, but I couldn't find it. So I figured this will work. Um, it's just these little caps here. I'm not messing with the body paint or anything, so this should be fine for this. So I'm gonna go through and um, sand all these slightly and then wash them again and then leave them out here in the sun to keep drying.
Okay, I've got my painting rig kind of set up here. It's using some pop cans so they fit nicely inside. The uh, adhesion promoter uh, requires two to three coats with two to three minutes between. And then you're supposed to apply the top coat within 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do adhesion promoter, wait two minutes, adhesion promoter again, and then we'll wait about eight minutes. And then I'll do the first coating of the silver paint and then wait 10 minutes and do the second coating because that's the uh, uh, coating time for the uh, silver metallic paint. So I'll give you a shot after I get the first coating on here in just a couple minutes. Okay, got the four caps painted. Um, this is about two to three coats worth of paint. Um, this guy's kind of hitting the sides and everything. It takes a few different shots to get them. Uh, I may go ahead and let this sit overnight, and then I may sand it tomorrow a little bit, and then give it one more top coat. Uh, you can see that there's still just a little bit of a line, kind of around where some of the old paint was. It looks way better than it did, but I'm going to see if maybe if I can just give it a real light sanding and one more layer over the top of it, if that'll kind of cover those lines up around the edges. The one in the center I'm not concerned about because that's where the emblem sits, so you're not going to see it anyway. But uh, all in all, pretty good so far. Okay, it's the next day, and I've decided not to repaint these. I'm just going to go with it as it is. I am going to reattach the Toyota emblem back to the center cap using this Loctite uh, glue. It's plastic's bonding system. Uh, it's a two-part system, real easy. You use the first one to kind of rub around the surface. It's like a um, oh, like a sharpie type pen, and then you dot it with the glue. So I'm gonna take the emblem and I've kind of set it up on this one. And I've put it in there, but I haven't pushed the emblem down all the way. So the pegs are just slightly recessed inside. I'm gonna uh, go in there, put that little, uh, the uh, activator, the number one in there first, then put the glue in and then push the emblem all the way flush. So that way there'll be a little bit of glue on the very inside edge and then kind of around the top. That should be enough to hold this in place. You can think about it, the um, majority of the force that this thing ever has is going to be straight on at it. Nothing's ever trying to like peel it away from the surface, so there shouldn't be a great need for a lot of bonding, just enough to hold it in place. Okay, after a few hours of letting the glue dry, here is the finished product. I hope this video uh, provides some tips and guides so you can do this to your own Toyota.